Good morning, everyone. My name is Abby Foster. As the president of the Pennsylvania Chemical Industry Council and on behalf of the state's chemical and related industries, we applaud Senator Bartolotta and Representative Christiana for their leadership in driving a measure forward that will support the development of an ethane storage hub for the Appalachian region. These resolutions highlight the market opportunity and support the development of this regional storage hub to ensure Pennsylvania residents continue to benefit from the responsible development of the Marcellus and Utica Shale formations. Introduce er, Senator Bartolotta to speak. Thank you, Abby. I know it's a little hard to hear in here, so I'll speak up just a little bit. Um, I am Senator Cameron Bartolotta, and I represent the 46th district, which is southwestern Pennsylvania. That's Greene County, Washington County, and parts of Beaver County, or as I say, Energy Central. We have coal, we have natural gas, and oil. The Marcellus, Marcellus play is incredibly prevalent throughout my entire district. That's why I requested to be the Vice Chair of Energy and Environmental Resources when I first took this job three and a half years ago. I think we, it is our duty in Pennsylvania, and especially in the government of Pennsylvania, to take advantage of the natural resources literally right under our feet. And that is why to, uh, I'm here with Representative Christiana um, to present a, we presented a resolution just, just yesterday. As the 10th largest chemical producing state, Pennsylvania's $24 billion chemical industry provides nearly 80,000 direct and related jobs and generates more than $410 million in state and local taxes on an annual basis. An important asset to the industry's continued growth is access to natural gas liquids, which are the primary feedstock for chemical manufacturing. That's why I introduced a resolution in the Senate urging Congress to support measures to advance the development of an Appalachian storage hub to support the continued growth of jobs and the economy in Pennsylvania. The Commonwealth has an abundant supply of natural gas liquids to support a world-class petrochemical industry. Shell's petrochemical facility in Beaver County is already underway and we should be doing everything in our power to encourage ethane companies to come here, stay here, and create family-sustaining jobs here. That's why my resolution continues this momentum by encouraging important federal measures, such as considering strategic energy infrastructure projects and making sure permits are processed and reviewed on time to advance the development of the storage hub in the Appalachian region. I have seen firsthand in my district, in the southwest of Pennsylvania, what taking advantage of and using this resource responsibly has done to the lives and the economy in southwestern Pennsylvania in particular. There are places in Greene County that we like to call Marcellus Mansions, because these farmers who have held on to their property for generations have been able to take advantage of natural gas right in their property and they reinvest right where they live, right where their families are. And we're keeping families in Pennsylvania and we'd like to do a lot more of it. So with that, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Representative Jimmy Christiana. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Senator Bartolotta. And for years, uh, Senator Bartolotta and myself and many of our colleagues have been talking about the need to embrace uh, natural gas energy production and the production of natural gas liquids. But we also must maximize those opportunities. We need to maximize those opportunities by increasing demand and attracting and growing our, our plastics and chemical manufacturing in Pennsylvania. We began that process several years ago when we were successful in attracting Royal Dutch Shell to Western Pennsylvania and to Beaver County, and with it attracting $6 billion of investment, over 7,500 new jobs. But we have even more opportunity. We have even more opportunity to, to pursue what this building so frequently talks about. We talk about all the time the need to attract economic development and jobs and increased investment. But it's right in front of us. It's right in front of us that 
there's at least $35 billion of new investment at stake. There's over 100,000 new jobs on the line that we could attract here to Pennsylvania. But we must appreciate, we must appreciate that we have, we have inadequate energy infrastructure. And this building and in Congress, in, the, in, in Congress must appreciate that if we do not address our inadequate energy infrastructure, we will not realize those opportunities. And so as, as the Senator said, I'm proud to introduce a companion legislation, a House resolution, urging Congress to pass these, these critical pieces of legislation so that we can locate one of those key pieces of energy infrastructure here in the Appalachian region, and that being an ethane storage hub. Congress needs to act, and I ask my colleagues to join in the House to join with me and pass my House resolution so that Congress can get a very loud message from Pennsylvania that we want to maximize our opportunity, we want to put more people back to work, we want to bring billions of dollars into Pennsylvania's economy, and we have just the tools to do it if Congress acts quickly. Thank you, Abby, for your leadership and for asking me to be here today. Thank you, Senator and Representative, for your leadership with the legislature. This resolution is one of many measures that is currently working through Pennsylvania to make this state an attractive place for this industry to grow. The Department of Community and Economic Development, we have Denise Brenly, Senior Energy Advisor, and Ryan Unger with Team Pennsylvania Foundation, who have been working to make this kind of an attractive place for businesses and have been working with industry to demonstrate that Pennsylvania is ready to work to build this market. Team Pennsylvania and DCD partnered together for a report recently that demonstrated the opportunity that's here in Pennsylvania with the assets that we have. With that, I'd like to welcome you to speak to that report. Good morning. Again, my name is Ryan Unger. I'm the president and CEO of Team Pennsylvania. Team Pennsylvania is the state's nonpartisan community and economic development organization that's been around since 1997. And our work consistently focuses on what are the assets of the Commonwealth and how can we build on those assets to help create good family sustaining jobs in the Commonwealth. Last year, the Department of Community and Economic Development came to us with an option to look at, now that Shell has made her decision to come to Pennsylvania, what next? We partnered with them and we did additional research partnering with IHS Market to look at that. We identified and ascertained that we could attract additionally four similar type investments. And as the representative said, these are massive investments. Some call them the lar largest private industrial investment in the Commonwealth since World War II. And in order to do that, there are a couple steps that we need to take place in order to maintain com competitiveness globally. Keep in mind that we're competing across the world for these with Saudi Arabia, the Gulf Coast and other places, and we're the new kids in the block. We're the big kids in the block. We have a lot of assets here uh, to build upon in terms of natural gas, but we need infrastructure, we need workforce. We have two of the six accredited plastics research institutions in the country right in a shale gas play. We feel this is a great opportunity, but we need to begin to take steps to address those shortcomings that exist that affect our competitive advantage when we go to places like Houston and Orlando in Chicago and New York City to attract these similar petrochemical and plastics investments for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Thank you. And I'd like to turn it over to Denise Brindley, Senior, Senior Energy Advisor for the Department of Community and Economic Development. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you, PCIC, for the opportunity to speak here today. When Shell made their final investment decision in June of 2016, it was truly a game changer. When Shell is built in late 2021, early 2022, it will be the first time that ethane is actually used in the basin. Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia currently export 100% of our ethane outside of our borders. Prosperity and value flows when the resource is used right underneath our feet. That has been the proposition that the Department of Community and Economic Development has held over the past three years. The governor signed a tri-state memorandum of understanding with the governors of Ohio and West Virginia on that very purpose, that the three states and looking at the resource as a whole need to collaborate on marketing, transportation and infrastructure, on workforce, on all the material things that make the use of this resource a valued proposition for our region. One of the components of that MOU 
is the development of an ethane storage hub. It is critical to attracting future investment to this region because it gives us a competitive advantage to the United States Gulf Coast, and it gives other companies the assurance that they need when they invest here that they will have the energy infrastructure that they need to build. But beyond ethane storage as a whole, the biggest benefit to Pennsylvania is going to be an energy-enabled manufacturing economy. I'd like to make the link between making things here and growing our manufacturing base. That is what our goal is, that is what the value of the proposition is, and that is why it is so important that we work together to grow the collective resource in the basin. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Now to the chemicals play and role in this, this opportunity. Pennsylvania's chemical industry is an economic driver for the state currently, employing more than 80,000 full-time employees. This $24 billion industry generates more than $410 million in state and local taxes and has seen tremendous growth in the region, due in no small part to our shale energy resources. Natural gas is used as both fuel for chemical manufacturing process and feedstock. And the natural gas here in the Marcellus and Utica shale formations is particularly valuable as it is high value natural gas with, li with liquids such as ethane. Ethane is used in the feedstock for many applications, but chiefly for the production of ethylene, which is manufactured for polyethylene, most commonly used for plastics and products that make up our daily lives. The availability of ethane has provided U.S. chemical companies an advantage over our global competitors. Prior to the Shell Polymer investment in Beaver County, the majority, if not all, of this valuable resource was shipped out of state and out of country. And while Pennsylvania certainly benefits from the extraction and export of this resource, the benefit of building storage capacity to supply a market built around the state's energy resources here will localize the benefit for generations. As demonstrated by the reports with Team Pennsylvania and, and DCED, the region has enough ethane to support several additional ethane cracker investments in a fully developed supply market. What we lack is storage capacity and the infrastructure to move it. The American Chemistry Council reports the build-out of this market could bring $28 billion in new, new chemical and plastics manu manufacturing and support more than 100,000 new jobs for the region. From resin and plastic additives and innovations in product properties, the chemical industry is leading in improving the manufacturing process and making the plastic products we use daily more versatile, durable, and sustainable. Many of these global industry leaders have already chosen to do business here in Pennsylvania, and the development of storage facilities would drive additional investments to grow the supply chain and solidify this market in the state. To be clear, this is not just a Western Pennsylvania benefit. Recently, I had the opportunity to attend a global plastics conference with DCED, and I was amazed at how many Pennsylvania companies with operations in the state were there. More than 100 companies related to the plastics and manufacturing industries. Graham Packaging in York, Boy Machines in Exton, Pelotron in Lancaster, developing machines and equipment for this plastics manufacturing business, with the majority of their customers being global. Wouldn't it be great if they were local? We have the opportunity to benefit from being both the consumer and supplier in this market. Shell's investment was a signal to industry that Pennsylvania is primed for that investment. Our electeds demonstrated then and are demonstrating today that they are working hard for their constituents to develop our shale resources in a responsible way so it benefits the residents of Pennsylvania today and into the future, and we thank them for their leadership. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Great. Thank you for being here.